So if Thor's hammer is supposed to weigh as much as a planet, what do you think would happen if he smashes someone with it? Well, they wouldn't go flying. They would be completely obliterated. I love the action scenes in Marvel movies, but every once in a while, I can't help but think they're holding back just a little bit, especially after seeing Logan and Deadpool. We've seen what it looks like when superheroes truly unleash their powers. Today, using VFX, we're gonna bring some of that to our favorite Marvel movies. What would they look like if they were rated R? So the first step in this process is going through some of our favorite scenes and seeing which ones bend the rules just a little too much for our liking. We're gonna take a look at these scenes with Nico and Peter. What's up guys, my name's Peter. I'm 21 years old and I'm a fat Marvel nerd. I've seen every single Marvel movie. I, I literally saw Iron Man in 2008. When it came out, I was like, I was 10 years old. I didn't watch the most recent Avengers because I think anytime somebody breaks like a finale into two movies, I just don't care about the second movie. Ren was talking about this one. <laughs> All of his internal organs would be squished from the, the momentum. It's the same with Superman when he catches someone who's fallen off exactly. the air. Exactly! They'd be dead immediately! They just... He, his body would just liquidify. It'd be like juice coming out the feet right there when you yeah. turn around. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man would probably have cancer from the gamma radiation. Right. Just construct a scene of like Tony Stark <laughs> in a hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Loki... So he gets bonked off his air scooter. I am a god, you dull creature! and I will not be bullied by that. That I mean, is not realistic. It would look like taking a towel, dipping it in red food coloring, and then slapping that wet towel around. Yeah. But is it because he's a god? Like He's an alien, technically. Oh, yeah, You're right, he's not a god. So yeah. if you smacked an alien into a floor, would they die? Dude, Iron Man flew all the oh, way to Afghanistan. There we go. Oh, yeah, more juice, just so he lands in juice on the ground. <laughs> he loses control of his bowels because he travels so fast. Just like brown just hear the, the farting. <laughs> you just oh, like, there we go. That's the first shot. Look at that. It's just doom. <laughs> That's oh. death. This is like straight like obliteration. This oh, yeah. is like shreds. And reminds me of two true lies when she's like, "Did you kill them?" He's like, "Yeah, but they were all bad." <laughs> <laughs> So this is the opening scene of Captain America. Oh, that guy would be dead. Sorry, just that guy would be dead. That guy would that be guy sliced would in half. Slice in half. I'm just imagining that blood <laughs> splat on the wall. Captain <laughs> like, America just wasted like four upstanding SWAT team officers that have all have children who are like two years old. The visual effects I'll be doing is the uh, crying wife as the car rolls up with the two like people dressed in suits. Well, that guy straight up <laughs> I sh I shot him in the face. <laughs> Wait, this scene's perfect. Ooh, just see blood dripping out of him right there. <laughs> oh my god, dude, right. There, this guy just gets his head chopped off by the shield. Oink. Oh yeah, he's done. Oh, he just kicks the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll kick. Dude, what if he just runs and kicks him? The head stays in the spot, and the body goes. <laughs> so after scouring through these scenes, it seems like really some of the best clips we're finding are in Captain America. We have a superhero and superheroes fighting <laughs> actual humans. If they were fighting real people, it would look very different than what you're seeing in the movie. People would be decapitated. They would have their spines broken. They would kind of turn into meat sponges and splatter everywhere. Out of all the scenes that we could tweak to make it look realistic, that one kind of stands out to me. So, we have a lot of work to do. We're gonna divvy these shots up because we're all gonna tackle it as a team. There's gonna be a lot of 2D compositing, maybe a little bit of 3D work, we'll see. And then I think at the very end, cap it off with a little bit of sound design to hopefully make all the extra visuals really pop. This scene is gonna feel like it's straight out of John Wick. Hey Jake. What's, uh, what's yeah. going on here, man? I know you guys are getting used to seeing me and thinking, oh, there here comes a brand integration because Jake's on camera. Well, guess what? Today is absolutely no different because this video is sponsored by Squarespace. But let me tell you why that's important. I really think the guys pay a lot more attention to me when I'm dressed up as their favorite characters from pop culture. So we have this Iron Man suit just sitting here. Let's see how believable I pull this off. And I think at the end, everyone's gonna learn something about Squarespace. Hey guys, billionaire playboy philanthropist Tony Iron Man Stark here. I'm gonna go tell the guys a something or two about Squarespace. Yeah, yeah, this is how Iron Man gets around. 
Hey, are you billionaire, or do you know billionaire playboy philanthropist Tony Iron Man Stark? I thought I'd come down here and tell you a little bit about Squarespace. I'd love to hear about their award-winning customer support. They also allow simultaneous posting, meaning that you can post to your Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr profiles. To my Tumblr as well? Oh my God. Yeah, look at how much he's paying attention. Hey, Red. It's billionaire playboy philanthropist Tony's Iron Man Stark here. Hey, yeah. nice to meet you, Good Iron Man. Be oh, careful with those, those are, those are lasers. Did you know that Squarespace now supports audio podcasts, meaning that you can put your podcast on Squarespace? Didn't actually know that. See, you learn something new every day. <laughs> Look at how much you paid attention to me when I said that. Oh, hey, Nico. Hi, hey, Mr. Stark. Using Squarespace, we're also able to do multiple contributors. That's cool. Hey, which version of the suit is this? Uh, this is one of the um, early ones. He thinks I'm Iron Man. Hey, Christian, did you know that Squarespace allows for traffic overviews and content ownership? So everything you post on the website, you own. We use it all the time at Stark Industries. That's why Squarespace is the best. Hey, that's great. I'm glad we're on the same page. Thanks, Tony. And just remember, guys. Hey, guys, remember. Yeah, just remember. That's Jake, right? Go to squarespace.com slash corridor crew and get 10% off your first purchase. It's a great meeting everyone. See you guys later. Oh, 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 oh. I'll see you later. Do you think they believed it? All right. What are you, what are you holding the for? I'm picking my teeth, and I'm not gonna. Put, I'm not gonna put this in my mouth. I was tasked with this beautiful shot. It's like throwing a frisbee. Look, he's throwing a frisbee at him, and it kind of ricochets off, and the guy goes, "Poof!" We were thinking, well, the velocity that thing's traveling at is pretty high. Captain America's shield is so strong, it deflects explosions and bullets and lasers, hammers. So it probably can slice through a man like butter. I'm cutting him in half. I want the bottom half still. The legs are great, but basically I need to replace his top half with a new top half. Resorted to one of my favorite websites, Mixamo. They have a really great SWAT model, same model that Peter's using. I take that. I basically just deleted the second half, put kind of like a meatball. <laughs> I threw this like big old meatball in there and jammed it up in there, man. Dude, mama mia, that's the shot of him <laughs> regretting everything. I think he's thinking about his family, his life choices, and country and patriotism is worth more than a paycheck from an evil corporation. Basically, I had a little color correction, and I just kind of add that. Here's what really is making the shot good. The shield bounces back still. If it's slicing through him, let's yank the shield out completely after it hits him like this. Let's just kind of have it carry on for a little bit more. With maybe a little bit of wobble, like whoa, 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 whoa. And I think that really helps sell it. Now it feels like it's like, it feels like, you know, it's a slice here. So that's the finishing touch on this shot. We're doing a fan made re-release of the whole movie, rated R. Actually, that, that would be pretty dope, actually. You know, this is the proof of concept for anyone out there who is interested. All right, I'm doing the guy who gets ostrich knees. <laughs> so here's the finished shot. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yep, that works. <laughs> <laughs> just turns into an ostrich, man. So it's just, it's quick and dirty. So here's just the base shot right here. I've gone through and masked out the lower halves of the legs so I can erase them. So here he is with his legs painted out. And something I noticed, because I need to put legs back in, is that his leg rotates just the right way that would match the perspective shift where I can see the bottom of his, of his feet at, after they flip up all the way. I stuck my two ostrich legs, and here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, my knees! Ooh. Next up is the guy who gets hit in the neck with Captain America's shield. Oh. All right, I'm back. It took me a day, I got a little busy. I thought it'd really be funny to do kind of like one of those anime things so the guy gets sliced, but then when he gets hit, like he breaks into pieces. So the very first thing I had to do was I had to erase his head. Now you can kind of see some feathering and some issues around it, but once all the other effects are in there, you can't tell. So let me put the other effects in there. The next thing I had to do is I had to cut out the guy's head. Then after that, animate it to fall down. The last touch here is I need to put in blood spiders. What I'm looking for with the blood here is that it needs to be going in the right direction. So when the shield hits him, I needed to splatter out sideways. If I were just to drop that blood in without any effect, this is what it looked like. Totally doesn't match. The color is completely wrong. If you look at the image, the image is kind of all one color, and that's because of the smoke and the lighting. So the blood just has to be the same darkness as the guy, and it looks great. Mwah. And once again, it's not the most sophisticated VFX shot. Pretty simple approach. But I didn't have a lot of time, and I'm imagining that a lot of Peter's 3D effects are going to steal the show anyways. I looked over Peter's shoulder. There's a lot of good stuff he's working on. 
just doing some fluid simulations for this blood using Flit Fluids, a plugin for Blender, which I like very much. I was having a problem before where the blood was sliding all over the place, which isn't too realistic, and Flit Fluids has this nice viscosity feature, so I can turn that up a bit, and you can see in the next shot here, it's sticking to the ground and kind of clumping together a bit more, and it's still kind of janky because it's a fluid simulation, but it looks just good enough to pass. Oh, I put bugs on Falcon's face. You know, if you're flying that fast, you're gonna get a load of bugs. I make seven hostiles. I decided to do the Falcon head slice here. It was actually a similar effect to Brett's head spin in the Keanu video. So we go ahead and paint his head out. We take the original footage and we stabilize the position to his head. So the head spins around its center of gravity. With the sound design, this is gonna be so funny. I keep telling Sam and Nico we have to record our own ADR for everybody screaming. We're gonna add some extra screen and kind of take it up a notch as far as audio is concerned. I really think the finishing touch is going to be fixing up the audio here because the visuals are gonna be substantially different. So we'll want the sound to match that. We've done this before. You just take the mic and you give it 100%, just yelling as loud as possible. Okay, sure, I'll just do my best and I'm, <clears throat> I'm just gonna wing it. So yeah, the stock's crashing, yeah, the portfolio's just not... What the f- There's a shit! I feel sweaty, it's hot in here, but we got some good stuff, and it's gonna be disturbing. Dude, this is so brutal. <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's good. What do we got? Some effects here. Y'all boys want to watch some effects? All the shots are finally done. This is my favorite part of any video like this where all the shots finally come together. Now there's a lot of shots in here. And honestly, I, we really have to give it up to Peter because he, he did a lot of stuff on this. He did multiple effect shots, but he also did the sound design for the whole piece. Guys, where is Peter? Where's Peter? Peter? Peter's Peter. coming out. Peter. <laughs> this is also really, really special because this is Peter's last day in the studio this summer, after which he has to go back to school and keep learning more things. God damn it. <laughs> Here's the original scene for context. Here we go. This is the beginning of Civil War, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's great. It's a great action scene. <laughs> Captain America, uh, Captain Falcon, whatever their names are. <laughs> Captain Planet. They're all actually super powerful beings. You know, whipping a metal shield at somebody wouldn't just like make them go Ugh, and like be all woozy. Um, I'm really curious to see your shots, how they turned out. Peter's shots as well. I am a little nervous to hear the sound design because you lose control a little bit. You're like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if it's even crazier and even more over the top? And I'm just hoping that Peter has kept this at a, a restrained, <laughs> respectable level that still honors the original action scene. Um, yeah, you guys watch. I'm just gonna, I'll be back. So that it's already an incredible incredible scene. Here's what happened to it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> wow, that was great. That was so good. Can you guys guess whose screams are whose? All right, so Sam was obviously the first one. <laughs> See this guy flying down out of the sky. <laughs> That's that was me. Well, that was you. <laughs> the bugs in the face is so good. That's why he's wearing goggles. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I just the wet goggles. slaps. I didn't even notice. That. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh man, that's that a hot fun. clip. Brags. That was so tasteful and respectful. <laughs> it's almost like all that vicarious, like cathartic violence you see in John Wick. It, I would really enjoy a Marvel movie if it honestly, was like that. I could totally watch an hour and a half of that. How will we do it without Peter? I don't know, because he brings this this like glee to to it all. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like step up and try to channel my inner Peter. So this was really fun to do, and if you guys can think of any other really cool scenes in Marvel movies that we should make rated R, let us know in the comments below, and we might just take a crack. Also, consider subscribing so you don't miss it. Oh, school, dude. I'm out of here, dude. Corridor sucks, dog. So, we just happened to be working on making the specific Marvel scene R-rated, and it turns out that one of the stunt performers randomly here on the same day we're making the scene he's in R-rated. Yeah, what's up, guys? My first stunt gig ever was the elevator fight scene in Captain America Winter Soldier. So they pulled me along through the journey. Civil War, I'm a Rumlow agent. Cap jumps in, catches us off guard. And there's victim number one, me. <laughs> he just rips my mask off and then back kicks me through the door. It was a good time. <laughs> With the wings? Oh, oh kick, you, kick me in half. Kick me in half. Yes! Oh. Oh, James dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. That is f***ing sick. Wait, Damn, yeah. man! Uh, I replaced your voice, we'll have to re-record you. <laughs> yeah, we should. I'm yeah. down, let's go. Yeah. This is me getting immortalized in the quarter digital thing. <laughs> go for it. Perfect. Amazing. Sick. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yo, pleasure. Okay. If you're watching this, I'm already gone. Up to a place up north, a better place. I thought before I left, I would make you guys one last goof. Just remember me by, you know me, always making those goofs. Maybe you can save it to your desktop and watch it every day. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I also make music, so this is a shameless plug for that too. Under Peter France on Spotify or whatever streaming service. See you on the other side.